This video is going to show you how to import data into your database. There are two ways we can enter data into a database. We can either type it in or we can import it. So you're going to do both. Uh, so this first video is going to show you how to import some data into your database. The first thing that we did um, when we started working on the database was to create the design of the database, which is uh, this section. Okay, so you've all worked on this. And um, this is your database plan. And as you come through the design, you can see that on the text values, we've changed field sizes. Okay, uh, I'm gonna close this table down. I'm just gonna show you that this is empty. Okay, there's nothing in this, in this uh, database table at all. And what we're going to do is we're gonna import this data into the database. So uh, rather than us having to type it in, <clears throat> this is something called a CSV file, which stands for comma separated values. And uh, this document, actually, all these values are separated by commas. And when we start going through the import process, you'll be able to see that. So I'm going to close this down. Okay. And I'm also going to close down the, uh, the table. Okay, so I'm going to show you, take you through the import process. Again, don't forget to take screenshot evidence of what you do. So we're going to go on to uh, external data. We're going to select a new data source and we're going to select from file and this is a text file so we're going to use a text file this is asking uh, where can I find the file and where do I want to put the contents so I'm going to click the browse button and you're going to navigate to your um, your ICT folder okay your database folder and the file is called class details I'm going to double click that. Okay, so you can see now that it's opened up the CSV file, comma separated, separated values. And you want to make sure that you put it into the table that you've currently created. So you're going to append a copy into the class table. Click OK. Right. You don't need to worry about any of this. Okay, you're going to click next. This is showing you, as a matter of fact, I go back, you can see that all of the values are separated by commas. Okay, that's what a CSV file is. So make sure the comma is selected, which it will be by default. And you need to make sure that you select the first row contains field names. Otherwise, um, it'll import your field names going across the top here uh, as a record. And you don't want that. So click that and you can see it puts these as the headings across the top of the columns. I'm going to click next. I'm going to import to the table class and then I'm going to click finish. OK, click yes. And then click close. And then when I open up the table, hopefully, I have five records that have now been imported into my database. So that's how you import data into um, an access table. Uh, you need to make sure that you take screenshot evidence of using uh, the wizard, uh, the processes of using the wizard, and a screenshot showing the records imported.